Hey, and welcome to our social wall tutorial video. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you uh, a general overview as to how the social walls work. Uh, there's some really cool components to it because it allows for uh, people to make posts. They can post pictures and comments and like and comment on posts. Very social component, you know, socially oriented. And when they do that, it'll actually send out notifications push notifications specifically to the other members of those groups. So we want to show you how to utilize it and uh, there are a few other things that you can do as far as uh, you know if you have any uh, concerns about security or anything like that or, or you know moderation um, you, you can do that in the back office as well. So we're going to show you how to utilize it and go from there. So here you can see we have uh, we have a soccer team uh, app that, that's, uh, that, that's here on the right hand side and uh, one of the ways that they utilize this, of course you can see that they utilize this for a variety of things, uh, but uh, one of them is the team chat. If I click on team chat, it's going to actually take me in here uh, to this social wall widget. Now you can create as many social walls as you want. You can either disperse them throughout the app in various tabs, or you can have a uh, folder widget. Um, you can check the tutorial video for information on that, but you can have the folder widget and put as many social walls inside of that as you want if you want to have different groups, let's say. So under team chat, um, you can see here that it's going to load up the posts. Uh, you can see here that there's a kind of a conversation happening and uh, this, he's saying, hey, we have a soccer game at 720. Uh, who's going to be there? Uh, this guy responded by saying, I don't think I'll be able to make it. And then he responds by saying, no worries. So uh, this is a way for people to communicate right within the app. And when, whenever they do that, um, they're going to get a push notification. So, um, you know, this person, Sean, he, he made a post. And everyone who's a part of this group, so you can see how it says following up here, everyone who's a part of this group will actually get a push notification saying, hey, Sean just posted to the, to the team chat. And so they can go in there, they can check the post, they can like it, they can comment on it, all that good stuff. Uh, and when they do so, like I said, anyone who's following this group will get a push notification about it. So uh, you can, of course, as a user, they can go in here and they can follow groups. If they, if they make a post uh, or like or something, it'll automatically, uh, it'll automatically make them follow this thread so that they'll... Uh, you know, be subscribed to it and that they'll get the push notifications and all that. At any point, they can always come back in here and click uh, to, to unfollow if they don't want to receive those notifications. But it's a really great way to facilitate communication uh, and to, to do that. So um, a couple other things I want to point out to you guys is that uh, you can make posts from the back office. So if I want to make a post here, I can uh, go ahead and do so. I can upload pictures or whatever I want to do. Um, here, if, if I want to delete or block somebody, uh, then, you know, say for example, there's just some post you don't want on there for whatever reason, you can do uh, one of two things. You can either delete this person by clicking the, the red uh, icon here. It says delete this comment. So it'll just delete the comment, but it'll still allow the user to make posts and things like that. Or you can block this user completely. And when you do that, then they will be blocked from the system as a whole and won't be able to make any posts or comments or likes or anything like that. Uh, so you have those two options as well. So I uh, wanted to just kind of take some time and, and tell you how the social walls work. We have a variety of different, uh, different types of businesses and organizations that use this. And I uh, definitely encourage you to brainstorm about how you might be able to utilize it to help communication and uh, facilitate that engagement uh, component on your app. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.